Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I want to talk to you about day one, which is this application that I use for digital journaling. I also keep a physical journal where I write my highlights and stuff that I do or have to do, but there is advantages to having a digital journal. For example, a quick search or geotagging location of your whatever you write your entries, you can very quickly find it in a map and stuff like that. Or also this application, for example, day one has a feature that I will remind you what you wrote one year ago, kind of like Facebook, you know, like one year ago you were posting this or took this picture. It also has this feature, the one, and I really like it. So let's just go really quickly over my own setup. I will tell you some of the features that I use, and I actually use very basic stuff. I don't need all the bells and whistles that this application does have, but I will tell you still why I chose it on top of all of the ocean of applications that you can probably find online whenever you are searching for digital journaling. Okay, so here is how day one looks once you open the application on your computer. Here is the list of journals, here is the list of entries, and here is the actual content. I do confess that the first time that I downloaded the application on my phone, I uninstalled it right away because it just looked too crowded and too busy. Of course, I was just coming from paper, I mean, from a physical uh, notebook for journaling. So it was just a little bit overwhelming at first. I had to make the transition and get used to the, to the look. But very soon after trying many other applications, I came back to day one because I figured out many of the other applications were pretty worst. And actually you can here on the computer hide the side. Whenever you double click an entry, it can open it in a new window. Oh, by the way, let me read this entry for you. Old number. Some time ago, Sony texted my old US number by accident. A person answered a bit disturbed about who was this. I journal little stories or little moments like that in this journal called stories things that are funny, things that are interesting, things that I want to remember. Even if it's one or two sentences, I just put it down because it's kind of like taking a picture of my everyday. And I am into that, if you don't know by now. But um, since 2011, I was keeping a blog on WordPress online and I looked for an application that would allow me to bring all of that offline and I found a one. And here, let's see, for example, I love the way that day one displays the images. And I will open this one in a new screen again, just to look at it better. It's just simple, you know, um, I mean, it just works. All of this was shot with film, by the way. And one of the things that I really, really love about day one and for me, was one of the reasons that I chose it on top of the competition was that it offers space optimization, which means that they have their own servers and all of these images are saved on their servers and whatever entry that I'm looking, it just loads it. So that way I'm kind of saving space on my phone or on my computer, especially since I post several things or keep track of many pictures, uh, that feature was pretty big for me. And let me tell you, when I was trying to choose an application for journaling, I found another one called Diary. And Diary was pretty close to being the winner. Actually, I went ahead and purchased Diary because I was sure that it would work for my needs. But I just found a pretty big bug with the images and the way that they displayed. I email the developers and they fixed it right away actually. But another bug came out and I just felt like, okay, you know what, it's a little bit too late for me. I already started moving my things into day one. Let me show you the diary actually, which is the competition and nobody's paying me so I can talk good and bad about anybody without feeling guilty or getting in trouble. <laughs> diary actually has a feature of customizing the look in a different way over day one, which is something that I really love of this application. It just makes you feel more comfortable whenever you are typing. Um, I kind of wish day one would allow this 
the whole interface of Diary is pretty close to day one. But for me, I still decided on day one because of that issue with the pictures. And if I still had a choice right now, I would still choose day one. Why? Well, because of the optimization of space that I was telling you about. It allows you really to save a lot of space whenever you are dealing with a lot of images. Darly and many other applications use iCloud, so you are actually having to load all the images from your entries locally on your phone or your computer. So the optimized option of day one was pretty big for me. Another thing that day one has that I didn't find in many other applications, including Diary, is that you can actually enter some HTML. So let me, by the way, it uses Markdown, which that, that's pretty nice. You can format your text as you type. For example, here I have some HTML and I paste this and it will show me the image by code, you know, this is really, this is really neat. And I will actually make another video about how I use this feature because it deserves a video in itself. It's kind of a hack. Um, but yeah, the optimization of images for saving space, I can paste HTML. It also has its own API or callback URL. So if you are into coding and the, you're a developer or you like shortcuts and automation, that's also a pretty big uh, thing because you can create shortcuts on your phone. I can just swipe and create a, an entry really quickly. Another thing that I chose day one on top of Diary because Diary was kind of uh, the option that I was closest to choosing is that every time I type an entry, for example, here in day one, it will make a new one. Title does. Title three. Title tres. And in Diary, let's go to Diary. Every time I type title and if I come back later in the day and I want to type another thing, it just kind of stacks it on the bottom of the other one. And very soon, it will not show you what you're writing because it ran out of space. I don't like that because I normally write down several times during the day and I like to be able to very quickly go from one to another one. So yeah, I mean, my setup is stories. I journal thoughts, I journal my pictures. And there's a lot, a lot, a lot of functions that I really don't use. I just wanted something very simple that could handle pictures well, that could handle my space well. And day one just fits the bill. But the biggest, the biggest, the biggest reason that I chose day one over all the other ones and that I would still choose it is because of its reputation. I think it's been going on for about 10 years. It recently became part of WordPress, which is another company. And for something that is as important as journaling and something as personal as journaling, I do feel much more trustful on day one than on any other application on the App Store. If you don't need something with a huge reputation and if you trust the smaller applications, I would still suggest that you look into Diary. It's just so pretty. I mean, it really just works. It has many of the similar features of day one, but not the ones that I mentioned, which is optimization of storage and the reputation of 10 years, pasting HTML and the ability to create shortcuts and multiple entries in one day and the way that it displays it. Those things are big for me and that really doesn't have them. But other than that, it's still an amazing application. If you have any questions about day one or diary, because I also have that application, just let me know. And I can talk a little bit more about that with you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon.